guys, we got Murray, Sister Harriet, two-time two -time Tony winner. I, I think one time, but yes. Let's one say time two. Tony winner? Let's oh, say don't, two. Don't put him up again. Okay. Yeah. Let's we'll say two-time uh, two Tony winner. Lonnie, uh, how do you, talk to me about your characters. I'm obsessed with this show now. I just binged it. I'm obsessed. Talk to me about your characters. Well, uh, Lonnie Flash is one of the great talents of his generation. <laughs> <laughs> one of the great screen actors, stage actors. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I mean, he's this, he's this, um, he's a grandson of a Holocaust, uh, well, his, actually his grandfather died in the Holocaust, he was this great Yiddish theater actor. He's got the, the, the performing gene, he won a Tony Award when he was 23, he came out to Hollywood to uh, do the movie thing, and got sidetracked into the sex and drugs lifestyle, and he's kind of been spiraling down, his career has really going, gone off the rails, and uh, you know, Meyer and Ruth um, scoop him up and say, do you want to kill some Nazis? And, and I think he looks at it as a way to kind of stay sober and, and regain some dignity and integrity in his life and get his life back on track because he feels kind of a soul death has been creeping up in him. So that's why he's joined the hunt. Sister Harriet's history is filled with spoilers, so I'm not going to go too right, deep right. into it, but she is a British uh, nun, Catholic nun, ex-MI6 with a very complicated past. Very complicated <laughs> past. Very complicated, yeah. And Murray and Mindy are Polish Jews who had a life before the Second World War and a family life, and then ended up in Auschwitz uh, and survived separately, but survived, new and, and, which is extraordinary, and then came to America and built a new life. But their old life, what happened to them, haunts them and for whatever reason, they've agreed to join this group for their own personal reasons and for reasons of an obligation to the past, maybe. But the questions are difficult for them. And it, be, it, it gets to the point where the past comes and revisits them in the last part of the series in a way that's unexpected to them and is uh, really devastating. Now, something I find interesting about Marie's character very particularly is that somewhere along the line, he's lost his faith. Can you talk to me about uh, what brought, why Murray continues to do what he does if he's... Some of it's spoilers um, sure. of, of why, but, but certainly uh, in, you know, I've known Holocaust survivors, my parents are survivors, and the many that I've spoken to in my life, um, when they can't believe that, they, that there is a God that exists that would allow a million children or more to be slaughtered by evil, and um, that God has a plan that's beyond our reckoning isn't a good enough answer. My father's line about it was really cool. He, he used to say, uh, I'm not really sure if there is a God or not, but if there is one, I'd take him to court. Oh, wow. And I think that that's Murray's uh, attitude. Now, uh, Sister Harriet, mm -hmm. there's so many questions, and I don't want to get too spoilery, but does she necessarily trust everybody on her <clears throat> team? No. No. I mean, immediately, she doesn't trust anyone. She's so experienced. She, she, you know, she's a tightly wound kind of timepiece in a way. And she likes everything to go like clockwork. And then, you know, she gets Lonnie Flash on her team. Yes. Yeah. And, and lucky, this, lucky her. <laughs> well, look, you know, we can discuss that later. But she, she, she's not happy with the team, but she's very committed to Maya. And I think uh, part of the joy of playing that character as well is just seeing her kind of dilapidate slightly inside when she has to work with these people, but also fall in love with them. She actually becomes very fond of them. And uh, yeah, and as I said, she has her own history. So she, that's why she likes to, things to run smoothly. Oh.